Welcome to the Introduction to SMART Goals eCourse. Today we will review the components of a SMART goal and involve you in a couple of SMART goal evaluation activities. Let's begin by looking at the SMART goal we have for this eCourse. By the end of this course, you will understand all components of a SMART goal as measured by the completion of the SMART goal activities. What are SMART goals? SMART goals are gap closing goals. We use them to attain a result that is different from what currently exists. In Fort Worth ISD, we write SMART goals in our department and campus plans. Why do we write SMART goals? There are three main reasons. First, SMART goals focus on the desired result itself, not the process or means for achieving the result. Second, SMART goals bring us closer and closer to our desired end result, our vision. Last, SMART goals can significantly increase the likelihood of success, which is what we all want to achieve. SMART goals consist of five components. SMART goals are strategic and specific, measurable, attainable, results-based, and time-bound. Let's look at each of these components more closely. Let's begin by looking at the S, which is strategic and specific. We want our goals to be aligned with the district strategic plan, focused, concrete, and tangible. Here's an example. The strategic and specific components are represented in red. By June 2016, FWISD will increase 9th through 12th grade student attendance by 3% as measured by ADA. It is definitely specific in that it is targeting specific grade levels. It is also strategic in that the data were reviewed and this issue was determined to be a priority. A common phrase in continuous improvement is that we measure and monitor what matters. The M in SMART stands for measurable. Our goals need to include a concrete numerical value along with how we are going to measure it. Let's look at our example again. By June 2016, FWISD will increase 9th through 12th grade student attendance by 3% as measured by ADA. The concrete numerical value is the 3% increase in attendance, and we will use average daily attendance reports to monitor and measure our success. Next is the A, which stands for attainable. As we develop our SMART goal, we want to make sure it is attainable, but also makes us stretch a bit, meaning that it is almost but not quite within reach. This goal is going to make us work hard. It must also be reasonable. Let's look back at the example. It has been determined that a 3% increase is attainable and reasonable. The R in SMART stands for results-based. In order to be considered a SMART goal, there must be concrete standards by which to measure it. In our example on the slide, average daily attendance, or ADA, is the concrete standard to be used with this goal. The last component is time-bound. All SMART goals must have a time frame included as to when the goal is to be met. In our example, this SMART goal is to be accomplished by June 2016. Let's test your SMART goal knowledge by identifying the missing components in the following goals. Let's look at our first example. What components are missing? 100% of vacant teaching positions will be filled by the end of the year. Let's look at our second example. What components are missing? There will be a 3% decrease in worker compensation claims filed in Fort Worth ISD by June 2016. Next, let's look at our SMART goal issues. SMART goals are the easiest to write. In fact, there are three common issues seen with SMART goals that you'll want to consider when reviewing your goal. The first issue is the absence of time and measure. Make sure your goal has a date and standard for measure. Another common issue is having way too much information. Often time all of the action steps listed within the goal. The how doesn't need to be included in your goal, just what you're going to accomplish. The last issue commonly seen with goals is the inclusion of lead measures within the goal. A lead measure is the measure you track to see if you are on course for reaching your goal. The SMART goal should only include the lag measure. Let's look at some examples. The examples on the screen are missing critical components, time and measure. 
The first example reads, there will be a 5% decrease in in-school suspensions at Warren High School as measured by the end of year discipline report. This example does not specify a time when it will be accomplished. In the second example, by June 2015, there will be a 5% decrease in in-school suspensions at Warren High School. This example does not specify a measure for the goal. This example has way too much information. In fact, this goal tells you exactly how they plan on accomplishing the goal. The example reads, by June 2014, our campus will implement a comprehensive plan to increase participation in extracurricular and after-school programs, which include an extracurricular fair, student interest survey, and promotions of after-school programs, which will result in a 10% increase in program participation as measured by end of year attendance report. In order to make this an effective SMART goal, you would remove the following pieces, extracurricular fair, student interest survey, and promotions of after-school programs. Confusing your SMART goal measures with lead measures is the last common issue with writing goals. In the example, all of the lead measures to be tracked are listed in the goal. The example reads, by June 2015, there will be a 20% decrease in discipline referrals for ninth grade students at Forest High School as measured by OCI referrals, six-week discipline referrals, and six-week out-of-school suspensions. The best action is to rewrite the goal and remove the OCI referrals, six-week discipline referrals, and six-week out-of-school suspensions. As you wrap up this e-course, be sure to identify the annual outcome and review your SMART goal to ensure it reflects the intended outcome. Be sure to also utilize the SMART goal checklist to reinforce inclusion of all components. This checklist can be found on the notes section of the e-course on Eduphoria. Let's take a look at our e-course SMART goal on the screen. Hopefully the goal has been achieved and you understand all components of a SMART goal and have successfully completed the SMART goal activities. For additional assistance, contact the Department of Professional Learning and Improvement, PLI, at 817-814-3400.